I bought a MacBook Pro for video editing. Was it worth it? Alright guys, this is big. After years of editing on a Windows PC, I finally made the switch to Mac. And not just any Mac, I went all in and got the MacBook Pro M4 Pro. This is probably one of the most expensive purchases I've ever made for my editing setup. But honestly, it might be just the best one. So in this video, I'll take you through why I switched, how much I paid with some insane discounts really. And most importantly, is it really worth for video editing? So let's dive in. Why I switched from Windows to Mac. Now I've been a professional video editor from a, for a long time and don't get me wrong but Windows PCs are powerful especially when you build a custom rig with top tier specs. But here's the problem, software optimization, Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve tend to run smoother on a Mac OS. My Windows PC fan sounds like a jet engine while rendering. So after weeks of debating I finally decided it's the time for an upgrade. I went straight to the Apple store and picked up the MacBook Pro M4 Pro. But what is the official price? Well it's 1,99,999 rupees in India which is around 2,400 US dollars. But here's where things get very 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 interesting. Since I run a creative agency, I got some solid tax benefits and discount. There's 18% GST input credit since it's a business expense, 3% store discount and 5% extra off with my credit card. So after all the discounts, my final price was around 1,56,000 rupees. That's approximately 1,875 US dollars. That's a $500 off the retail price. Honestly, if you are a business owner or a freelancer, take advantage of tax benefits. It saves a lot of money. Alright, let's talk about the unboxing experience. Apple never disappoints when it comes to packaging. It's always clean, minimal and premium. Inside the box we got MacBook Pro 14 inch Seek aluminium body and I've got this silver color. USB-C to MagSafe charging cable, high quality braided cable is there, 140 watt power adapter, fast charging support and that's pretty much it. No unnecessary extras, just pure premium Apple vibes. Now holding this laptop in hand, it feels solid. The aluminium chassis is sleek, sturdy and lightweight for a powerhouse like this and the hinges super smooth, one hand opening effortless. Now let's get to the real deal the specs. Apple M4 Pro chip, crazy fast processing power, 14 inch liquid retina XDR display that's 1000 nits brightness, 120hz refresh rate, 24GB RAM that's perfect for smooth multitasking and editing. 512GB SSD that is a super fast storage speeds and I already have a lot of external hard drive so that's why I have picked the 512GB variant. Then we have the MagSafe charging Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI and SD card slot so no dongles needed. But however I had to get a USB hub since all my hard disks are actually USB 3.0. So now let's come to the conclusion is the editing performance is it really that good. I have been using it for few days now and here's my honest take. Screen quality absolutely stunning. The colors are super accurate perfect for color grading. The trackpad this thing is massive and smooth making editing without a mouse is actually possible but not that much possible because the combination of mouse and keyboard actually makes your workflow much 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 faster than working on the trackpad itself. Then we have the battery life, this, this battery is crazily insane, last 10 plus hours even with heavy tasks. But what about video editing, I tested it on Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro and here's what I found that Final Cut Pro runs like a dream, 4K, 6K and even 8K footages with zero lags, it's just buttery smooth. Then we have the Premiere Pro surprisingly stable compared to the Windows setup and the previews are super fast and the 4K editing is also very 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 good. Now let's talk about the export time. See the exports are much faster than my PC. Even with background rendering the system stays cool, no overheating and no annoying fan noise. So let's talk about the final verdict, was it worth it? Honestly 100% yes, the MacBook Pro M4 Pro is hands down the best laptop I have ever used for video editing, super fast performance, incredible battery life, best in class display and whisper quiet operation. And with the discounts I got, it feels like a steal deal for me. Would you switch to a Mac? So that's my experience switching from Windows to Mac for video editing. Now I want to hear from you, are you a Windows or Team Mac? Would you ever switch to a MacBook Pro? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and share for more content like this. See you in the next one.